What's up guys, it's Taylor and Jeff. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are talking <laughs> about our first time meeting each other's family and parents and what we were thinking, what each other were thinking, how our parents reacted, what their first impressions were. Yes. What our first impressions were. Yeah. I feel like it's such a toss up, uh, I mean, in any relationship, but like especially a good relationship, depending on where each other are in terms of their process. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like it's a case by case scenario, Definitely. but we are going to tell our experience and what it was like. Yes. So I, I, we can both just chime in, I guess, because we met each other's families at very different times. I met Jeff's family first. We had been dating for about six or seven months, six months, I think. We yeah. met in May, but the kicker is Jeff had come out to his parents at the beginning of April. So we had been dating for five months. Jeff came out to his parents. <laughs> hey, Jeff. And then I met his family one month later. So I feel was like- Was it one month? Yeah, we met in May. So it was, for us, that was a, a, bit, a bit of a different experience rather than, cause it was kind of a lot to, maybe for them to digest. Um, they yeah. handled it exceptionally well. That was like a fast track timeline. Like, yeah. I mean, his, that his, info, mom, his mom had a, yeah, but still, she like, knew about Being me. open about that and talking to him about it and then being like, and also. Yeah, yeah. Here he is. That girl's wearing bunny ears. I know. <laughs> so yeah, so when I met Jeff's family for the first time, I was obviously very nervous. I think my parents were nervous too. Yeah, for sure. Just because one, I was meeting his family period. And then two, just because he had just come out. So I didn't know if I was going to be like bombarded with questions. I didn't know if they were going to be like overbearing, accepting or overbearing or any, I, I had no idea what they were going to be like. Cause I didn't really know them. And yeah. So when we first met, they came into the city and we had some drinks on the roof. With my best friend too. I yes. Think. Well, I also lived with my best friend, but yeah. I think it was like a appropriate like icebreaker too for us all like being in this like new situation, yeah. like more of like a gathering rather than like a yeah two on two situation. So they came in and we had drinks and then we went to dinner. But at drinks on the roof, they were super nice. Your mom is like really, she's not shy, but she like waits until she feels comfortable. We're, me, me and his mom are very close now, but uh, at the first, our first meeting, I was a lot closer with your dad. Your dad was being very chat, cause your dad is very chatty. Yeah. And um, so I hit it off with both of them, but I found a lot of similarities between me and Jeff's dad. But then like as time went on, me and his mom are very similar, which is so funny, but yeah, we just like chatted and they, we went out to dinner. Yeah. So we had drinks on my roof and then, oh, hi. And then <laughs> she's literally on. Wait, but before we get there on the, on the roof, we, you know, we were, we were meeting and it was funny. I was telling Jeff's dad, like I had to tell them of course, like what I did and make sure that I was, well, they like, were interested. They yeah. were asking. Yeah. Well, for sure. I mean, anytime you want, you, you want your, you know, your son or daughter to be with, someone who can, you know, support themselves and let alone support a relationship. But yeah, I told Jeff's dad what I did and that was, you know, uh, making YouTube videos and Instagram and stuff like that. And he was like, so how much, uh, how much money can someone make on Instagram? Okay. But, but no, but not in like a, not in a trying it, to get how much I made, yeah. made but just it's out a of completely curiosity. new industry, yeah. especially for someone of like my parents' generation. Yeah. Like that's, and his yeah, dad, his dad is, was an accountant for, you know, his whole life. So he's very like a numbers guy. So yep. that was, uh, that was fun. And then we went to dinner and we paid. Yeah. Dinner was good. We paid and we just like really hit it off. Yeah. Uh, we chatted it was like everything. a four hour ordeal. Yeah. We were with them for like a whole, the whole evening. I um, personally think it couldn't have gone any better. Like yeah, I was I so relieved so. after I was so happy after. Yeah. I was like, wow, I didn't know if this day would ever come. Yeah. What was your experience uh, it, it, meeting me meeting your parents? I was obviously nervous, but like I knew it was going to be great. Like, I don't think I would have ever be seriously dating someone that I knew my parents wouldn't approve of. Yeah. Or Had you ever introduced anyone to your parents before? A girl. <laughs> so no. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I have a lot of my parents in me and like, I just wouldn't ever date someone or let alone bring someone around my family or parents that I know they wouldn't like and get I mean, along with. I wouldn't with. say you wouldn't date someone they didn't like. I wouldn't bring someone <laughs> around my parents. I'm kidding, I'm just being 
she. Oh boy. But funny, before I met Jeff's parents, he snuck me out to New Jersey while mm -hmm. his parents were on vacation so I could meet his sister and brother-in-law mm -hmm. and niece. And see my house and yeah, so we went swimming. And yeah, we stayed the night. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so I met his sister and his brother-in-law first. Mm -hmm. And that was my first um, connection to the family. And that was that was fun too. Your sister's, his sister is like, we have like a, she's a little drill sergeant for me. As she should be. <laughs> um, I love her though, she's great. Um, but I, that was, that was um, fun. Do you need some chapstick? Hmm, probably. Yeah. So, okay, I have a, yes. let's play some questions. Okay, games. we're still on Jeff's, me meeting Jeff's family. When you met both my sister and brother-in-law and my yes. parents, were you like, I can definitely like see myself hanging out with them for a long time? Yeah, I think I, I mean, I hit it off with all of them pretty instantly. Of course you, everyone is like a little nervous mm -hmm. during those things. So it's hard to kind of be like thinking like, oh, we're gonna be best friends. Question number two. <laughs> For anyone that may be watching who is about to meet their significant others, family, best friend, parents, do you have any tips for them on how they can prepare, what they can do to make sure it goes swimmingly? Yeah, I mean, I think it's your partner's uh, due diligence to inform. inform you about your family and really give them the full details of like, you know, don't be like, I don't know. I feel like if you're if you're at the point of meeting you, each other's family, you should there should be like full transparency of what you know your parents are like, what they don't like, what they do like, how to talk to them, and then you be adaptive to the situation. Obviously, you feel it out because you don't need to be like immediately comfortable right off the bat. Like, so don't be discouraged if it is like don't try and force it. Yeah, don't if it's a slow road, it's a slow road. You know, you'll get there, but. Yeah, I think just like, not, I don't want to say worn, but like, you know, feel each other in about what your family's Debrief. like, what your, what your family um, dynamic is like, and, you know, give the whole family tree and every, you know, everything to better prepare the other person. But then when you go in to meet them, be yourself and just be respective, respectful. And uh, yeah, just like go with the flow. If they, if they, are leading the conversation, let them lead the conversation. I feel like if they're leading, like that's the best case scenario. But if they're not, like, you know, you lead the conversation. So yeah. it's not just like some awkward sitting and whatever. But yeah, I mean, I think we, oh, oh hold on. I think, uh, I think our, my first time meeting your parents went really well, but I can like attest that our relationship has gotten so much better over time. Like in the past two years, it's been like, I FaceTime, his parents by myself and talk and like, you know what I mean? So. Like I'll come home from work and uh, like Taylor will be telling me information about my family and like what my mom told him. And I'm like, okay, I think it would've been <laughs> nice to know. Okay, question three. Yes. When do you think the right time is to meet someone's parents in a relationship? I think if it's like a serious grown up relationship, meaning like not like you're in high school and you're going over to their house. I think it's when you realize that that person is probably who you see yourself being with for the foreseeable future, if not forever. Just because, you know, it's a big step to introduce each other to yep. your families and like to have that capacity because like, obviously like I love you and we're in a relationship, but I also now love your family and mm -hmm. God forbid something happened between us. Like now it's like, it's not just, it's not, it's not just us in the equation. It's like your family now. Like I have yeah. a relationship with your niece and nephew and your sister. And so really think about why you're introducing someone to your family. Not just for the sake of it. Yeah, not just thing. to do it. Like make sure like there's good reason. Just What's because... interesting too is that my parents suggested to us meeting Taylor. So my mom texted me and was like, hey, you know, a month in, uh, oh, yeah. it was like, I, we would love to meet Taylor. Like, let's set up a time to all do dinner or something. Yeah. But that's also a unique situation because, you know, it was, the whole thing was very new to them too. Um, so I wasn't gonna suggest it. You know, yeah. I think I said to them, like, I would love for you guys to meet like when, You're you ready. know, when everyone's ready. Yeah. And then, you know, a month later they texted me and was like, we'd love to meet them, let's set it up. And I was like, great. Yeah, I think, I mean, and I think that's how it should be. I think like they, Again, this is just our our situation and that's just this situation. So like when we talk about my family, it'll be a little different, but I think if they are the ones that are, you know, the most, 
I guess, taken aback by the situation, like let them lead. So yeah, cool. But yeah, and now we're best friends. I talk to his parents all the time, every day. Uh, okay, now your go. Okay, so we, or I first met your family and parents in October. Mm -hmm. So we were almost a year into dating. Yes. And to be honest, like I really didn't know what to expect. Like obviously like, you told me a lot of stories and about them, but you know, me growing up on the East Coast in sort of like a faster paced environment than the stories you had told me about like Indiana living and stuff like that. Um, I, I just didn't know what to expect. I didn't, I had been to Indiana once before, but well, to Notre Dame yeah. and like, it's apparently very different. Very different. Yeah. Yeah, th what he's trying to say is our lives, we have come from very different backgrounds and very different lifestyles. Which there's nothing wrong with. No, not I just didn't know what to expect going sure. in. But I feel like things were like very seamless and I, you know, met your mom and your stepdad and, you know. Sisters. Yeah, I felt like, you know, an hour in, like we were, we found a common interest to talk about and like it was like I had known them for a long period of time. What I will say is, so now I've, We've been to Indiana twice mm -hmm. uh, since dating, and I feel like the difference between the first visit and the second visit are like night and day. Like I feel like the second visit, I felt like I've known them forever. Yeah. Whereas the first visit, like I'm still learning a lot. I'm like maybe more reserved, trying to like adapt yeah. and assimilate myself into like their lives. Yeah. But I also think what helped that is the fact that between the first visit in person, because before the first visit in person, like I didn't really like talk to them on the phone or FaceTime with you. No. Cause I was like, let's have the first time like be, you know, in person. Um, so obviously in between those two visits, we would FaceTime and talk, right. uh, you know, every week. So I think that helped a lot. In your defense, like it, the, mid the Midwest is just, or at least my family at least is very different than probably any family dynamic you had seen before. Like they're also, the way they like talk and the way they, things they would say that maybe other people wouldn't say, it's like just very different. Yeah. So, so you were a little bit reserved the first time, but my family is also like, hey, <laughs> here, play with this one. This one doesn't squeak. My family is very open and very like welcoming. They're very nice, very like straight to the point. So when you got there, it was like, there was no real hesitation about anything, especially with my sister, my mom. Right, like, I was like way more nervous than they were ever. Yeah. But I had also been out to my family for years. They had met a previous- They're like, oh, he's bringing another one home. No, that is not true. They met one guy, well, you're the first person I ever took home. Um, the, the, ow, they met, um, they met- um, <laughs> They met what? They met an, a past boyfriend of mine at my college graduation, but you were the first guy I ever brought home to like meet the whole family and stuff. Cool. Yeah, like meeting your sister, I was like nervous and she, like it was just like a friend meeting, like a, seeing a friend that you've known for a long time. Like there was yeah. no like awkward, No. there was no like showboating or anything. It was just like very If anything, they were probably real. like pressuring you to like be a little more talkative. Probably, yeah. Just because like, and when I'm around my family, it's like a very like the little southern banter. Yeah, banter. A little southern twang comes out. Yeah, just like you know. So it's different. Taylor. But yeah, it went well. I think. I mean, it, I like. I wouldn't have changed a thing about any yeah. meetings of families or parents. Yeah. Um. It we was. Are, we are very, very, very fortunate and very lucky to have yeah. such loving and accepting families, and to have to be able to share that with each other. Um, if but you, if you asked me two years ago, three years ago, yeah. I wouldn't have said this. I, I wouldn't have, it was very unknown. I didn't know how, you know, my feeling was going to react. I didn't know that this was going to be possible just because it hadn't happened. So I was yeah. very nervous and scared, but yeah, rightfully so. I mean, I think we, I think everyone is yeah. nervous and scared, especially yeah. you. You're so close to your family yeah. that like it would have been. You know, it would have been really hard had it not gone as well as it did. It's it was a little easier for me because I live I live so far away from my family that it would have it would have just been a little easier had it not gone bad. Being removed well for me being because I'm already removed. removed. Is easier yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah. Now the next the next thing they have to do is meet each other. Yeah, which will probably be at the wedding. At the wedding. Yeah. It's because my family is afraid of flying, and there's a lot of them. So. Yeah. Do you yeah. have any advice for what would you say meeting? I mean, I would say like 
for the two people dating, like trust your instinct and your gut. You know, if if you feel like it's the right time to meet each other's parents, go for it. And you know, if also the child of the parents like should also have a good idea of what their reaction will be. You know, if they're ready, maybe do the same situation. I was in where like my parents suggested meeting um, because they wanted to, they felt like they were ready. Like the last thing you want to do is, you know, introduce when anyone isn't ready because then, you know, it just takes longer to rebuild that relationship and trust and it's harder to accept, I guess. But enjoy it too because it's super happy. It's it, it's exciting. I mean, yeah. that was the first time you met your mother-in-law and father-in-law, you know, <coughs> forever. That's yeah. only a one-time experience. So it's exciting. So enjoy it. Yeah. And if you're a parent watching this with a, well, with a child who's in a relationship at all, let alone an LGBTQ plus child, you know, know that this is a nerve wracking situation for us as well. So please yeah. respect the time it takes your child to open up to you or want to share their relationship with you because it's not always easy for us either. So everyone should just be more loving and open and accepting and understanding because it's a big deal. You're, you're, Ideally, introducing someone that you want to spend the rest of your life with or someone that you really care about right then to other people you really care about. Some people that are the most important in your life. And if it goes poorly, I feel like it could it could really put a damper on someone's life, mental health and you For know sure. how they view family structure and stuff like that. Yeah. I feel like in the the gay community or the LGBTQ community, it's you know, there's a lot of family structure issues maybe. Um just because there is like not always that level of understanding or respect or... People don't think about it when it doesn't apply to them. So yeah. it's all new and it's all, you know, there's new rules or whatever. Yeah. If you have any interesting, funny, heartwarming stories of meeting uh, each other's significant others, drop them below in the comments. We would love to... Meeting each other's parents. What did I say? Significant others. So if you, if huh. you and if have any funny stories about introducing your uh, current significant other to your other significant other. Did I say that? Yes. But that's okay. We know what you meant. I need a coffee. You know what I mean. Drop them below. We would love to hear you guys' experiences and how they went. Yeah. Until next time, you know what to do. Please subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment, share with a friend. Bye. Bye.